The English Defence League has been holding demonstrations in towns and cities across the country since it was formed in spring last year. It claims to be a peaceful non-racist organisation, concerned only with opposing what it terms Islamic extremism. But over the past 12 months, many of its demonstrations have been marred by racism and violence. So the EDL are building this as the big one, and I think that's really quite offensive, you know, that they want to say that this is a good place to come for a bun fight, and um, they think there's going to be trouble, so that's why they want to come here. So that would be one of the reasons I'm concerned. Because I think it's very hard for a city to recover from the sort of things that have happened. You know, the riots set us back for a long time. I think it took a lot of time to build some trust, to rebuild some of the damage that was done. Animosity that existed towards the Muslim community following the riots has transformed itself into an animosity against extremists rather than the mainstream community, which I think is very positive. Uh, but all, all it will need in Bradford, if this EDL rally takes place, is one spark. Oak Lane was the scene of some of the worst rioting in 2001. Kumar Zuman has had a shop there since 1998. We have been working hard to get the community back to where it was, but I mean, what's happening with this EDL who's going to come down, it's just going to mess it all up again. You know, we have a very mixed community. It's ethnically mixed. It's mixed in terms of socioeconomics. It's mixed in terms of geography. And, and you know, therefore there, there will always be tensions in any community. Uh, and we don't want anybody to come in and uh, and try and use what tensions there are against us. We are looking to remove those tensions, not to increase them. I'm from the Butcher Estate, which is primarily a white working class area, but in the past 10 years or so, it's become a lot more mixed. Um, social housing up there has been a lot of investment, great new school up there, uh, children's centre, things like that. And it's an area actually where people have come like, you know, BNP have always really targeted, but you know, we have been defeated every time they've tried to put a candidate up there, you know what I mean? So I think that says a lot about the psyche of community wanting to move forward and wanting to sort of live peacefully and harmoniously together, really. It's nine years now since the last riots in Bradford, and those riots nearly destroyed Bradford, and they damaged this city in, in so many ways the alienations and fears that are caused by an event like that take a long time to heal, a lot longer than rebuilding a, a shop that's been burnt down. And if you actually speak to um, random Bradfordians, they're very, very protective of the city of Bradford and they're actually proud of it and the massive strides it's made in coming forward. We don't want anybody coming to Bradford that might cause trouble. You know, we've got a multicultural society here and maybe we'd, they keep themselves to themselves to a degree, some people intermingle, but we don't want people coming that are going to cause any sort of friction. I do think there's a danger in not allowing people to express their grievances and uh, not allowed to discuss things, because I think it sends it underground. I think you need a, a proper constructive dialogue about that sort of thing, you know, the real problems that go on. But this is not about that, this is about causing trouble. Um, people are peddling hate. Uh, the, the, you ought to be able to stop large groups of them coming together in a particular community to try and ferment trouble within that community. I don't believe that that's about their right. You know, Now, it would be different if there was some, a strong feeling in Bradford about a particular thing and, you wanted a, and a group of Bradfordians wanted to demonstrate here. Uh, I wouldn't still want a, a far-right demonstration, but I think there would be more legitimacy in it, and I think you'd have to be really careful. But these aren't people from Bradford. These are people from outside. You've got to draw a line on this. If you don't draw a line here in Bradford, the big one, with what's at stake, then, then when's it going to stop, really?